Hi everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. Happy Saturday and happy first, uh, well this is not my first, but happy craft-a-thon. Thank you so much to Melanie for inviting me for the third time to be part of the craft-a-thon and I have some exciting stuff to show you today. I'm super excited. We're going to be talking all about these paint mixing sticks or paint stir sticks and I'm going to be showing you a ton of different projects that I've made you using these and show you some of the fun different things that you can do with them so I see people hopping on already hey Diane hi Sue hi Trish hi Erica hey Luann hi Lisa as you hop on um, say hi let me know where you're watching from let me know if you have any questions and we will just jump right in so for those of you that are just meeting me for the first time during this craft-a-thon my name is Heidi Scott I'm a, a, a mom and a wife and a believer and I'm a serious crafter <laughs> I've been a crafter all my life so I have this page DIY dreaming and um, basically the crafts that I share on this page are quick because I have a super short attention span they're easy they're usually very affordable. They're um, sometimes a little unusual and they require no artistic abilities. Also, I tend to focus more on faith uh, projects and on family projects. Um, let's see what else. Well, that's pretty much all there is to tell you about DIY dreaming. If you like this project, you might want to uh, like and follow DIY dreaming. Okay, so um, during this tutorial here, I'm not going to be talking about the stencils and the decoration so much. I'm going to be talking more about these. And um, I'm thinking that lots of you crafty folks know what these are. They're paint stir sticks. Um, they are, this is a five gallon size and this is a one gallon size. I like both of them. These came from, you can get these at Lowe's and then Home Depot, I'm sure at any hardware store. You can also get these online and I've been told that they're a little bit less expensive if you do it online. But just so you know up front, you can get a package of three of these five gallon paint mixing sticks at both Lowe's and Home Depot for a dollar. And then you can get a package of 10 of these one gallon sticks, both places and I'm sure pretty much anywhere else for a dollar. So they all have this little um, ruler on them, which I think sometimes is fun to have that showing on your project and sometimes not. So um, let's just get started. I'll show you, um, let me see if I can find myself here so I know what my time is. Okay, um, I'm gonna show you some projects that I've made and I'm gonna tell you what I did. Okay, this is the first one I wanna show you. And I just made this, um, I guess, this week or possibly last week. It's made with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fifteen of the smaller paint stir sticks. And basically what you do to create one of these is you're gonna start in the back and you're gonna have your braces. Okay? And I have two. On a bigger project, I might have three. And then I like to use um, Gorilla Glue or E6000 but I have been known to use a hot glue gun. And that's what I'm gonna use at the end of this because I'm gonna actually do a demo of how to put one of these together. Okay, this one has been stained. And basically all I did was I took my favorite stain, which is called Hazel Mahogany Gel Stain, love it, put it on um, a rag, and I just rubbed it on the sticks, front, back, sides, top, everywhere. And then I wiped it off with another rack. And you can see the difference, how they start out and how they end up. On this um, sign, I did all of them in the same direction, but sometimes it's fun to flip them, okay? I, and my goal with this uh, project here today is not that you're gonna copy these exactly, but like all the other crafts that I do at DIY Dreaming, I hope that you'll get some ideas um, and know what the pitfalls can be and know how you can fix those up front so that you can then go and take this idea and make it completely your own, your colors, your style for your house, or maybe as gifts. So um, 
So one option is to stain, and then I just tied this little piece of um, twine around it three times, and I put some little wood beads on it. Super easy. Okay, next project. Whoops. Okay, this is another one I made this week, and it's a little different. Can you guys see okay? If the comments are driving you nuts, do you know that you can just swipe them out of the way? Well, you can. You just swipe them to the right, and then if you want them back, you can swipe them to the left. Okay, so I made this one this week also, and it's the smaller sticks that I stained. And then what I did is I took a stencil, which um, all these projects that I'm using today, uh, all these projects are made with Magnolia Design Company stencils. And if you're interested in any of that, I have lots of posts on my page. My website is magnoliadiy.com. All smushed together. Okay, so I took a stencil and I just stenciled some words. This is all about the fruit of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, faithfulness, goodness, self-control. Against such things there can be no law. That's the conclusion of that verse from Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Anyways, okay, so I, um, I stenciled some words on each piece. And just for fun, I used a couple other colors of paint right here in the middle, just to mix it up a little bit. And I really like that look. This is just acrylic paint in a gray, a blue, and a greenish kind of color, and then sanded and distressed, and then stenciled, okay? But what I want you to notice here is how I um, did one straight in, then I flipped it. Then I did another straight in, then I flipped it. And also I want you to notice that I didn't put the, um, the marker rulings on the front of it. Instead, I did the plain side, and you can see the back of this one. Um, I have two big braces, and then I just use popsicle sticks, but you can use whatever you want to sort of hold it together because we had a little accident. This fell off the wall and I had to um, resuscitate it so that I could show you today. So anyways, nobody's gonna see the back, so it does not matter. Um, so, and then I tied some twine three times around the little holes so that I could hang it. And um, if you notice, because I'm going like this, I'm flip-flopping them, Okay, because I'm going like this, you can see that you're going to have a space right here and right here where you can hang something. Can you see that? Okay, so that was the next idea. Then, about two weeks ago, I made this cute little project. Isn't it cute? Okay, and what I did for this one is I used the... the side that doesn't have any markings on it. So you can see the, the ruler marks are on the back. All right, and I used two braces going this way. And I alter, did I alternate? Yes, I alternated from one end to the next, so you can see that. And I, um, just using white craft paint, I just roughly covered each one of the paint sticks um, after it was all glued together. And then using some craft paint in blue and green, I just did a dry brush technique. And you can see how pretty that turned out. And then I stenciled it with a stencil that I made using my Icon Art Custom Stencil Maker, which if you're interested in that or don't know what I'm talking about, just send me a message and I'll be glad to get you some information. So this says Whale Come. And um, this is what the back of it looks like. Each one of these signs is like um, under $2. <laughs> They're so super affordable. And they um, come together so quickly. And I just think that they have a lot of charm to them. Okay, so that was another one. And then here's the same idea that same week I made this big one. Let me it back. And I um, did the exact same technique. for These are the longer um, paint sticks paint stir sticks. So I used three braces, you can see that, and I put the hash, the um, inch markers or whatever on the back so that the front was plain, 
and you can see that I alternated straight, curvy, straight, curvy, okay? So then I um, did the same thing, white craft paint with um, just a dry back brush technique of blue and green to make it look beachy. And then I picked up this cute little whale at Target. It was a wood cutting board. So I painted it with some navy blue craft paint, put a stencil on it that I made with my Icon Art Custom Stencil Maker that says, Mightier than the waves of the sea is his love for you. Psalm 35.4. That turned out pretty cute. Okay, I better speed it up. I have one more sign to show you, and then I'm gonna actually show you how to put one together. And let's see, I'm doing good for time. So let's see if I have. Okay, uh, Sherry says she loves this. Janet says great beachy background, background. You know that, Janet, that is so easy to create, seriously. And I didn't cover all of the sticks um, completely with the white. Uh, I just wanted it to look like it had been on the beach and the sea breeze had been blowing by it for years. So, seashells would look so pretty on those signs, great idea. Yes, you can find the signs at Home Depot or Lowe's or Ace. Um, you can order them online uh, for like 200 of them for $19.97 from Walmart, which is the exact same price if you would, would buy them at Lowe's or De Home Depot for the smaller ones. They're 10 for a dollar. And the bigger ones are three for a dollar. Anyways, hey Peg Shipley, how are you doing? I was not easy to find. Well darn, I'm so sorry. Now that you found me, um, why don't you click like and follow up here and then it'll never be a problem. Okay, so then this was another sign that I made that is just representative of the American flag. And all I did here was I put my, um, I put it together. Okay, so I put all the little markings, the ruler markings on the back. And again, I alternated curvy straight, curvy straight. I like that look the best. Okay, and then after I had it together, then I painted navy blue craft paint right here and I alternated red and white for the rest of it. And then I just took a little bit of my favorite uh, um, stain, which is that hazel mahogany gel stain, on a paper towel, really diluted, and I just kind of did a whitewash over it to give it this more aged look. Can you tell? Love this. Um, I'm gonna put it outside as we get closer to 4th of July. I haven't put a hanger on it yet, but anyways. This was a, a really fun, super easy project to do. Okay, so for the project that we're gonna do here today, it's gonna be a big one also, and I have something, a different idea to show you. And um, while I would normally use either the um, E6000 glue or this Gorilla Glue or something like that, just so that I can do this quickly and have you be able to see it, I'm gonna use hot glue. But I want to let you know that hot glue um, doesn't hold super well in the humidity um, and weather. So if you're planning to put this project outside, I would definitely use one of these strong glues. Okay, so here's the start of my project. Let's see how can I get it so you can see the whole thing. Um, and I have two braces going on it. And you can see that I stained all of these um, paint stir sticks, all right? And I have to remember what is gonna be up and down. Let me move these out of the way. And let me put my camera down even just a little bit more. Okay, so before I um, came live, I did a stencil on it that says welcome. It's one of the Magnolia Design Company stencils that you can find at magnoliadiy.com if you're interested. So it said welcome, and the idea I want to show you here is to put all of your sticks, sticks straight, so they're all going the same direction, but to space them out a little bit, okay? So how I did that, how I achieved this, let me find the top. <laughs> this is like doing a puzzle. Hang on just a second. There 
we go. Okay. So to stencil the word welcome, do you see that right here? I just, you know, used a stencil. I put this, I had stained the stir sticks. I put them all together. Then I laid my stencil on top when they were all together and I used a, a white chalk paste with a stencil, okay? Now, after they're dry, what we're gonna do is we're gonna space them out. And close up, it looks funny, but from a distance, it looks really cool. Let's get them straight. Okay. So just so that you can see how this go comes together, I'm going to use hot glue, but normally I would not. Normally I would use the real glue. I want to be able to lift this up and show you. So if you like this project, you should definitely follow my page, which is DIY Dreaming, all smushed together. Uh, my craft projects, in case you're coming on late, they're always quick, um, super affordable, uh, require absolutely no artistic abilities. I like to do things that are a little unusual, like making signs out of paint stir sticks. And I mean, I've done some really unusual things. Yesterday, we made some projects, projects out of vintage um, sheet music, which was really fun. Um, so, and things that don't require any artistic ability. And then I focus mostly on faith and family projects. So if any of that appeals to you, you should definitely um, follow my page. And again, Melanie, I'm almost finished here. Melanie, I'm so thankful that you invited me again for my third time to be part of this wonderful tradition. I love it. I can't wait to spend the rest of my day watching the other presenters because, oh my goodness, you get so many great ideas. Okay, we're almost there. And if you decide to do some paint stir stick signs or art projects, I would love to see what you come up with. Okay, so here we go. Let's get back. Welcome. Isn't that cool? So it's different from all the other projects in that I um, straight. I spaced out the slats. And it's also different from the other projects in that I did all of these the same direction. And I let the I did it so that you could see the, the markings on it, but I think it turned out pretty cute. Uh, let's see. So if you have questions, feel free to put those in the comments. I will be glad to answer as soon as I'm done here. Um, I hope you liked this craft and I hope that it gave you the sense that you could do this totally. You don't have to have any uh, super crafting powers <laughs> to be able to complete any of the projects that I like to do here at DIY Dreaming. Um, and I just hope that you will take this idea and make it your own. Alrighty, thanks so much for watching, and I will um, see you again tomorrow on Sunday. Um, every Sunday I do a faith uh, project. I mean, I do faith projects during the week too, but I concentrate more on it during Sundays, and I call that Christ and Crafting. I usually come live Sunday afternoons with a project that is focused on faith, and then I talk about the Bible verses that support it and just my general thoughts. And people seem to be liking that. So if the idea of Christ and crafting appeals to you, then um, come find me tomorrow afternoon at DIY Dreaming. And um, I have some great stuff planned for tomorrow, and I hope I'll see you. All right, bye.